Hey guys, back at Kentucky Range Time. Back with a quick update on what's going on at KRT. Uh, it's been a, a slow couple of weeks with the weather and everything else. I think the last of my videos posted up a couple of days ago, so I'm kind of kind of in limbo right here. We we've ended up with about eight or ten inches of snow and a and a half inch of ice on top of that. Uh, actually, in the middle of that here in the last uh, last two or three days. So uh, still trying to dig out from that, but. Uh, I've had some bullets coming in. I've got some more ordered, but I also have some that have has come in here in the last couple of days. And I want to do a quick look at those uh, to show what's coming up and what we'll be testing. Uh, most of these are going to be addition to existing load series. Uh, one of them is going to be a bullet for a new load series I hope to kick off later in the spring. So let's turn around and take a look at those. All right. So uh, I took advantage of the factory second bullets uh, that Midway USA had here a few weeks back. I actually picked up some uh, some 50 caliber bullets for the 50 Beowulf, and uh, and I picked up uh, these 110 grain 30 cal. Uh, these will be loaded up in a, in a new load for the uh, 300 blackout, and I also picked up uh, uh, those 225 grain 338 uh, caliber for the 86 blackout, uh, all factory seconds, and these are all identical pretty much to the factory loading. Uh, coming up in 38 special. Uh, we've got the 135 grain spear gold dot bullet that we'll be testing. And uh, I've had a hard time finding gold dots. I, this is a, a bullet I've been wanting to test uh, in this and 357 and just have a hard time sourcing those. Uh, moving right on along, we also have a Maker. Uh, this is the 357 mag P-Rex 158 grain bullet. And Paul and I have been talking back and forth the last couple of weeks, and uh, my order for, for that stuff came in today. And kicking off a new series, uh, the 40 cal, 140 grain, I'm actually going to be pushing these in my 10 millimeter, and uh, that is an upcoming uh, series for, for later in the summer. I've got several bullets I want to run in the 10 millimeter, and I hope by the time I get that, that up and going, I'll have... Uh, uh, two different barrel lengths and pistols, and possibly even a, a, a 10 millimeter AR-15 with a longer barrel that I'm wanting to run these in. All right, moving right along, 225 grain and 429. These are going to be for the 44 mag, and possibly, possibly might run some of these in 44 special as well. Let's see what kind of expansion we get out of them. And here is a new 86 blackout bullet. This is a uh, the, the round nose treks, and this thing is a very neat looking specimen. And uh, I'm, I'm gonna be running this as a sub load, and hopefully we'll get some good numbers and good expansion out of this at, at some smaller velocities, hopefully. And of course, I'm back on to the 350 grain uh, Trex bullet, Rex. And this is just a beast, guys. Uh, I will be uh, loading these and running them through my can into the gel block suppressed. And uh, that's something that I've intended to roll back all, all fall to do and have just got sidetracked on other things. So anyway, guys, that's it. Um, Paul over at Maker Bullets has just been amazing to work with. Uh, I had to email and see if the, the 350 grains were, were in stock before I could order and uh and that started an email chain and he's been watching a few videos and uh he's also working on a couple of new designs uh he currently is working on a 357 mag and a 44 mag design bullet for lever action specifics so um you know hopefully uh we'll get a chance to get a hold of those soon and uh and uh get some tests done with those and see how those are going to do all right, so that's uh, that's pretty much what's been going on that, and I've done a a clean out and a reset of the shop here in the last two days. Uh, uh, this half of my garage is my shop. The back half is storage and uh, tools and other stuff for for the electrical side of what I do, and uh, sometimes those kind of get blended in quite a bit. And uh, I, I, it had been getting bad all summer, and I finally uh, broke down and took the time to go through and clean off some shelving and get my my shelving behind me back dedicated for reloading stuff because things just kind of seem to get piled in there. And uh, anyway, uh, <clears throat> slideshow coming up with a better look at these bullets. And I also found on the shelf a box of berries 
uh, 50 cal plated bullets uh, that I'll be running in 50 Beowulf. I should have had them out here too. Um, and I have currently, I have an order out from Matt's Bullets. Uh, one of the subscribers recommended them and I, I went over to that website and checked that out. Um, and I ended up ordering several bullets, I think three or four different bullets there for the 50 Beowulf and maybe a couple for 44 mag. Uh, so those should be in here in about a week or so as well. Uh, I hope to get to the range. I think right now I've got four or five new 44 mag loads to test. And if, if one's coming in uh, cast lead for Matt's bullets, uh, that'll make six more 44 mag tests uh, to put into that gel block series. So uh, uh, also have a 100 grain uh, 30 caliber bullet coming in. Uh, jacketed skirt on the bottom. It's a Sierra specialty bullet. And uh, one of the guys on Instagram, uh, actually one of the guys on Facebook, uh, had a post up with this bullet and, and we've been messaging back and forth today. And uh, he got me a link over to, to where these were available at Natchez and uh, I ended up ordering some of those. So uh, I'm gonna be running those in 30 carbine and 300 blackouts. So, all right guys, Matt from Kentucky Range Time. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you guys on the next one.